Hibernation is basically an adaptability technique used by animals to conserve them when the going is bad. In this video, we shall look at hibernating patterns and interesting facts related to it. In scientific terms, hibernation is defined as a state of inactivity and metabolic depression in endotherms. Hibernation refers to a season of heterothermy characterized by low body temperature, slow breathing and heart rate and low metabolic rate. Why do animals hibernate? It is perhaps the most fascinating survival instinct in animals who realize they need to conserve their energy when availability of food is poor. How do they do this? Some animals eat large amounts of food in the months prior to hibernation and this turns into fat to see through the winter months. Others gather food and keep it in their dens and access it during the hibernation period. The methods of hibernation are as varied as there are species of animals. Actually, in true hibernation, the animal's body temperature drops drastically and its breathing, respiration, heart and metabolic rates decline. A distinguishing characteristic of a true hibernator is that its body temperature drops to a level nearly as low as the ambient temperature. True hibernators include ground squirrels, woodchucks, bats, lemurs, European hedgehogs and white-tailed prairie dogs. The classic hibernator is a bat who seems dead during the period of hibernation as the heartbeat has slowed down very much. Some hibernations last only a few weeks while others last as long as six months. The bear is not considered a true hibernator as it is easy to wake it up, exception being the bears in the polar regions. We have often heard of birds hibernating, but the truth is that the only bird that hibernates is the poor whales of northern Australia who go to Mexico. Some birds hibernate by hiding behind the rocks, as in southern US. Cold-blooded animals do not hibernate as their body is acclimatized to the cold. We do see them being inactive during the winter months. Hibernating is very different from rest. A long period of inactivity is akin to paralysis. Hibernation is not only in winter, it can happen in the summer too when in some tropical areas there is dearth of food for the animals. This is termed as estivation. Even fish hibernate. Basically, hibernation is extended torpor. Pregnant animals like the bear giving birth during hibernation and nurse their young ones with the reserves of food they have kept as store. Seth Donahue, a biomedical engineer at Colorado State University, suspects that the parathyroid hormone, which regulates calcium uptake, helps maintain bone density. He is currently testing the hormone on human bone cells in his lab. Hibernation is probably not in the cards for people, but Donahue's research could lead to new treatments for spinal fractures and osteoporosis. Indeed, hibernation is unique, natural, panacea for all.